Hey guys, my Jeffries here, and welcome to episode 85 of You Don't Win Anything With Kids. Uh, this is the second episode of season 2015-16. A um, couple more squad updates to go through with you. Adam Campbell, uh, youngster from Newcastle. I'm sure you guys will have heard of him. He's joined on loan for three months. Um, again, this is a searcher signing. This had little to nothing to do with me. Um, but he could be a useful asset up front. He's quick. He's very quick, actually. Let's go back to his... Uh, stats he's got pace of 15 he's got acceleration of 18 so he's a huge huge advantage if we play him through the middle um providing we play the right kind of ball to him i suppose uh other updates we did squad numbers that's all been sorted now uh pretty much everyone's the same apart from via's now number 22 which means um someone else i can't remember who is 25 uh, Foster Kasky's taken the number 35 shirt. Um, Tomlin is number 9. Um, Saville? No, not Saville. Um, Mantum. He's number 4, I believe. Yep, he's number 4. He's got like the Kabai squad number. I, I gave him number 4 because I thought he could be like the Kabai player. Or um, think of another example so I don't sound biased. Um, who else wears number four? Is really Barcelona Fabregas. There you go. He's the Fabregas of the team. Um, other. Oh, he's also the Kevin Nolan. So he probably gets sent off every other game. But apart from that, that's just yeah. Uh, also, we lost out on a work permit for Shane Federick. So I tried to sign him again on a free transfer, and we lost out on a work permit again. So. As much as I didn't want to lose him, it looks like Federic, for now at least, has slipped off the radar. Um, but I've sort of put him in the same bracket as Tim Payne now, where I will be signing him again one day. Um, hopefully the, all the whole work permit thing and we get him on cheap wages and cheap transfer fee if that's needed. Uh, I've, told, I've told my scouts to keep an eye on him. So we'll see about that one. Matt Partridge... Now, I have a second football manager career, which I don't film and don't upload, um, and that's with Portsmouth. And Matt Partridge joined me on loan on that save and did really, really well. And I'm in the same league as Portsmouth are in that game now, so uh, that might not be such a bad thing. He's on loan. He'll be on loan from Reading. Made 39 appearances for Notts County on here the previous season with a match rating of 6.65. It's not too bad, actually. Played at Burton and Rochdale before. So it looks like he's progressing up the leagues. See, League 2, League 2, League 1. Okay, he'll be back in League 2 again, but we've got a League 1 standard team, I reckon. So, uh, yeah, not bad. Um, to the point of this, of this episode, though, we've actually got a match. It's the first game of the season, uh, and it's against Tranmere, and it's at home, or it's at our temporary home of Stamford Bridge. Um... Let's yeah, let's go straight into choosing or starting to choose the team. You see, we got a pretty big squad out there now. Uh, it makes it more difficult in some ways to actually choose players. Uh, well, let's let's make the easy choices. So we'll have Quintarka in goal, Via at right back, uh, Jones at left back, and then the centre back pairing of Cartwright and. Stevens, yes. That makes sense to me. Um, and then in midfield, actually, I wasn't I coming up with a new tactic as well? Which one was it? No, it wasn't that one. Might have been that... No, no, that's two again. Might have been that one. No, nope. that one. Was it that one? Oh, let's just stick to the that one for now. Uh, move Via back to right back. Uh, right, midfield. We'll go all the way down here for midfielders now. We will have... Um, let me think. Foster Kasky, is he ready to jump into the team? Let's try him out. We'll have him on the right side. We will have Delamond, the captain, on the left side. Like so. Uh, now the advanced midfield. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's try Manton there and then we're gonna have uh, Beckhold where's he gone 
Oh, he's injured still, isn't he? Can't have him. Okay, let's try Tomlin. Let's, yeah, let's try Tomlin down the left. And then we'll have... Um, where's Carino? There he is. Yeah, he looks pretty pretty decent conditions. So we'll have him down the right. And then up front... Ooh, Baptism of Fire for Adam Campbell. Let's see how he gets on. Um, and then, because we're now in the Football League, we get to name seven subs, not five. So this makes things a little bit easier. So we can have O'Brien. We can have Hutchinson. Uh, we won't have Klopmas because he's still injured. We will have uh, Robertson. We will have George Saville. We will have um, Luke Rooney. David Thompson. Who's there? Actually, he's not in the best condition. Where's Johnson? Oh, he's injured as well. All right, we'll have Lawrence. And we will have Bobo. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that team. We'll give Campbell his squad number, which is probably going to be number 30. Maybe number 14. Mm, I don't want to give Federick's number away, because it feels a bit... Oh, screw it. Federick's squad number has gone to Campbell for now, because by the time Federick comes back, Campbell will be gone anyway, so uh, it's no biggie. Okay. So... Do I worry about any of this stuff now? Do I start to take this game a little bit more seriously because of where we are, like uh, in what league we're in and things like that? Uh, I probably should, to be honest. So, you know that their biggest threats are, um, well, Nimley, who is either on loan from City or is joined from City. Uh, he's a good player, so always tight marking. Um, we'll always show him onto his weaker foot. We'll always close him down. Uh, yep, that, happy with that one. Uh, George Frankham, show him to weak foot, always closed down, fair enough. Ak, Akpa, Akpro, always closed down, always show him to his weaker foot. Uh, Daniel Racky, Ratchy, yep, same deal with him, and same deal with Ollie Lee. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, managers, assistant managers team talk, come on lads, show me what you can do. Delamon seemed to respond positively to that. Everyone else, pretty neutral. They're all in good spirits, so kick off and let's see what kind of standard we have set ourselves for this upcoming season uh, you can see we're playing at the lovely Stamford Bridge um, I do like Stamford Bridge I think it's a very nice looking stadium I just I don't like the realism in that I have to play here because of the reputation of my team I'd rather play in a stadium that fits the size of the club rather than the reputation of the club so you know I'm only getting gates of 5,000 people so put me in a stadium that only contains 5,000 people that makes more sense to me. Uh, right, early corner. Came to Foster Kersky. Back to Tomlin. Bang, 1-0. Very, very early on in the game. 1-0 up. Eight minutes in. And Tomlin has scored on his debut. Look at that. The whole team has gathered around to celebrate. With the exception of Jones, who was probably on the halfway line anyway. And Quintarka, who's still in goal. Can't complain to them. Um, we're also live on TV. So, this could be the first game live on TV that we win. You know, Foster Kasky, I keep calling him Foster Kasky. Foster Kasky did well there to, although he didn't win the header himself, he put the defender off enough to head the ball straight to Tomlin. Um, and it wasn't a bad cross from Villa, in fairness. Good, good team goal, good team effort there. All right, Foster Kasky to Delamond to Tomlin. Manton, good ball out wide to Jones. Decent cross from Jones to Tomlin, and it's 2 0. Okay. I think we've set the bar at a pretty good rate for this. We're tuning up inside 15 minutes, guys. This is fantastic. What a team goal that was as well. Delamond into Tomlin, laid it off to Manton. We saw the run of Jones. This is a fantastic cross from Jones. What a volley from Tomlin as well. And, you know, either Tomlin or Campbell could have got on the end of that. It was a 50-50 as to who won the race. Uh, Forster Kasky there just headed the ball just wide of the post. Um, we've had a really good start. I'm really pleased with this. And again, live on TV. We are live on TV and we're actually winning. Um, I'd like it to stay this way as well. I'd be horrified if we threw it away from here. Even if it ended as a draw. To be 2-0 up, you, you want to be winning. Um, 
And although it's not, it might not be the case when this episode actually goes out, but at the time of recording, it's the, the weekend just gone where Sunderland came from 2-0 down against Southampton. Liverpool came from 2-0 down against Villa. Um, anyone else come from 2-0 down? I think that was it, actually. But ideally, you want to be taking these chances and staying ahead. And that was nearly 3-0 there from Carino. Good effort. And Campbell just tackled before he had the chance to shoot. Um, but it's another corner and, and Villa's been dangerous in corners. Again, he was looking for Forster Kasky. Uh, that looks like it's going to go out for our throw-in, and it did. Jones with the throw to Manton. Back to Jones. Inside to Delamond. Across to Forster Kasky. Good effort from him. Tipped over the bar. Um, you saw me fiddling with tactics before the match. Uh, I thought I'd reset it so that we had a... a flat 4-4-2 formation because that's kind of the, the idea that I wanted to go for this season was having two up front um, I'll have a fiddle with that after this episode I think I might change that 4-4-2 diamond so it's a, it becomes a 4-4-2 um, I just think it gives us more more options up front because you can, it's very easy to end up with a, an isolated striker if you just play one up top whereas if you've got two up top they can constantly be moving around and causing trouble for the defence um, so I'll definitely be evaluating that between this match and the next one uh, at the moment it doesn't look like it needs to be done but you saw last season we had a really rocky patch and we struggled to find goals um, so I ideally we, we want to be solving that problem or at least having a backup formation that can solve that problem for us uh, you know, but even if it, it, we resort to just playing the Wilson brothers up front, they both do different things, so they could end up working well together. Um, we'll see, we'll see. I probably should have used pre-season to experiment with that, but I didn't, so too late for that now. Good header there from Stevens. You see Tramira starting to come a little bit more back into it. They've only had one shot still, though, but they've won a couple of corners. Uh, we've had nine shots, three on target, which is an improvement from towards the end of last season where we weren't having that many shots more on target and that's Tomlin's hat-trick he's yeah to be honest his debut hat-trick I don't think Peter Bruni knew what they were doing when they let him go that was good I'm surprised the ref didn't give that as a foul against I think it was Carino though who slid in again the ball heading towards Forster Kasky that looked like a foul from Carino he took down two of them um, Tomlin just put his foot through it made it look easy and he's doing well on that left-hand side. He's doing very well on that left-hand side. Beckhold Bell watches back now, I think. Right, we got here. Via with the ball into Carino. Goes for a shot himself and scores again. So it's 4-0 now in the 43rd minute. This, this cannot be a realistic representation of how this season's going to be. I don't know. I mean... No disrespect for Tramir, but they are making this look very, very easy. I imagine that, that they will themselves improve as the season goes on. Because um, this, this cannot be a good start to the season for them either. Stevens having a go, just over the bar. Um, looking at the match ratings down the right there. Tomlin on 9.6. I mean, that's, that's pretty obvious that's going to happen. But Villa. Villa's on 8.0. And I think he's been involved in all three goals that Tomlin scored I think he did no Jones crossed for the second one didn't he he's certainly involved in Carino so he's been involved in three of the four goals um, we're actually Jones there as well the guy who set up the second goal he's on 8.1 we're doing really well out there it's fantastic see Jones on the ball here again inside to Manton he's also having a, a pretty good debut only on 6.8 but he's played his part good ball from Jones towards Carino and headed just wide so yeah, we could be in a worse position, that's for sure. We could be 4-0 down. This is our first ever match in the Football League and we're 4-0 up at half-time. Um, I read a message off camera before I started filming this episode. Um, we are, I think it's 100k per week under our budget to fit in with financial fair play. So, uh, although a lot of our money is coming in from investments from the chairman at the moment and advertising and things like that, we are well under budget, so there's no... No one could put a comment in the box saying that um, I'm overspending and that's why I'm doing so well. Because although Tomlin's on, I think it's 17000 a week. Um, I, know, I think he's on 10000 a week. I think Mantum's on 17000 a week. 
we're still way on well under budget, so that's not a problem. Um There was something else I was gonna say and I forgot what it was. I suppose apart from those big earners, the rest of the team is still as it was last season. And you know, Fos Forster Kasky's on loan, Campbell's on loan. So I'm not spending a, a heap of money on them, so I don't think I'm paying for any of their wages. Um or either of their wages, there's only two of them. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm really really pleased with this start. It's going really, really well so far. Can't complain. Um, and it looks as though we could actually uh, add to this lead. We've only got one player on a booking, and that's Delamont, and that's pretty standard these days. He gets booked every other game. That was a good shot from... Who hit that shot? Was it Veer? Might have been Veer. In the right place to be Veer. Um, linking up with Carino as well, so yeah, probably was Veer actually. Uh, is it time for a sub? I think it is time for a sub. We'll watch where this Veer free kick goes first. Of course, Tukaski at the far post and he's scored, so it's 5-0. Do you know what? Veer, every single set piece Veer has taken, he's picked out for Tukaski. So it was only a matter of time before something happened like that. Um, that's a really good ball in. Whipped in low and hard. Look at that. Any kind of touch from Forster Kasky and it was going in. That's that, yeah. Really good. Um, I'm going to make this substitution now, though. And George Saville is going to get his debut for the club. Um, Delamond is going to come off. And also Tomlin. Is it early to bring him off? I don't think it is, to be honest. I'm going to bring Lawrence on. Tom Lawrence for Luke Tomlin. Uh, Luke Tomlin. Lee Tomlin. He's had a really good debut. He scored a hat-trick. He's a bit tired. You see 75%. That's why he's coming off. Uh, no other reason. I'll leave him out there and see if he can get more goals. But also it gives him the chance to get the standing ovation from the fans. Um, I'm sure he'd want to stay out there and, and perform more. But I'm doing it to, to prevert... Uh, can't speak. I'm doing it to preserve him more than I'm doing it to limit his chances. Uh, also it gives these other guys a chance to see if they can get on the score sheet. And we've got a penalty. Dominic Hyam. Looked like he was grappling with Stevens there. Uh, very good throw from Jones. Long throw from Jones. Set up the opportunity there. Who's taking this penalty? Oh, it's Via. Okay. And he scores. 6 0. Franco Via. He's on a match rating of 9.2. And that was his first goal of the game. Uh, the only players who aren't. In fact, no, the only player who isn't 8 and above is Manton. Campbell's on 8, uh, Carino's on 8.7, Forster Kasky's on 9.1, Jones is on 8.9, Cartwright is on 8.6, Stevens is on 8.7, Quintarka's only on 7.2, but what do you expect? Do you reckon he's seen the ball much this game? Because I don't. They've Again, Tramia have only had one shot, and it wasn't even on target. We've had 17 shots, 6 on target. Um... So, yeah, Quintaka, I feel bad for him because no one's going to remember that he even played in this game. Uh, we, we might as well not have a goalkeeper. We, we're so dominant at the moment. But as, there you go, Savile has got some touches on the ball now. And the ball falls to Lawrence and he's on the spin, put it just over the bar. And again, actually, Savile, he's only on 6.7. Lawrence is only on 6.7. Um... But it looks like they're, they're slotting into the team just as well as the, the guys they replaced. So that's not too bad. Got the good little chances there. Lawrence was in the right place in the middle to get the ball. Uh, Savile with the, the little flick-ons, which set up the chance. There's Mantum on the ball into Stevens. There's Savile. Number 32, I think he took. Good ball for Jones. Lawrence needs to make that run down the wing. He's not. He's going inside. Making it tricky there. Jones had to go backwards. Savile to Manton to Campbell. Good ball through the gap there to force to Kasky. Carino is that seven? That's seven. Second goal for Ricky Carino. Another great run from him. Great run from him. Force to Kasky. Good tackle from the defender. Just happened to be Carino was there. Maybe that's the reason, because I was wondering if Carino was offside there, which is why I hesitated a little bit. 
Um, I'm wondering if the reason why he wasn't flagged if he was in an offside position is because the defender actually tackled the ball. Um, one of those ones where it's either an offside with a penalty or a goal. There's no win for the defending team, really. Um, I suppose it's, it's, that's not a biased rule or anything. It's just a rule. Right. I think Tranmere might start stepping up their game now. Too little too late. Obviously, there's only four minutes left. Uh, but you never know. I'm going to make one more sub. To waste a little bit of time at the end of this match. Uh, Bobo's going to come on. And Forster Kasky, who has put in a really, really good shift. Uh, played fantastically well. He's going to come off. I see Campbell there to Manton. Good block from the defender. Still trying to get goals. This is what I want to see. Because goal difference nearly cost us the league last season. Because our goal difference was poor compared to all the other teams around us. Um... So it's good to see that, you know, we're 7-0 up in the 88th minute and we're still pushing for another goal. Because it doesn't matter how many goals you're winning by, you should always go for another one. Because at the end of the day, goal difference matters more than anything. Goal difference can be the difference between finishing first and finishing, let's say, fifth or sixth. It can be that much of a difference. Man United, they lost the title a couple of years ago to goal difference. Um... And, you know, Fergie said afterwards that they would never lose on goal difference again. It might not even come to that ever again. But even if it did, hopefully they'll be in a position where they wouldn't lose by it. Because that must be a really horrible thing to happen when you, you've kept up with your opponents the whole season. 38 games and you're on the same number of points, but you've lost it because you didn't score as many goals as they did. Or you conceded more goals than they did. Um, so you can see, we're plus seven now. Seven goals up, no goals down. Impressive, and it could even be eight. Campbell through here, and he does finish the route. Adam Campbell, the one player who I actually wanted to score in this game, and he's done it in the 90th minute. And it's a really good finish, really good team goal. Manton with the assist. Good play here from Saville. Great little reverse ball there from Manton into Campbell. Good couple of touches, and then just curled it into that bottom corner. Really, really, really well played from him thrilled for the whole team they've all performed fantastically well uh, all the subs they've all got match ratings above I oh, know Savile hasn't apart from that everyone in the team is above in fact no Lawrence isn't either just forget I was going to say that they're all above 7 because they're not um, but again that's not a true reflection because Savile and uh, Lawrence play just as well as uh, Delamond and Tomlin Okay, Lawrence didn't score a hat-trick like Tomlin did, but, I mean, that's just a fantastic result. Look at the goals. One from Villa. That was the penalty, of course. One from uh, Forster Kasky. Two from Carino. Three from Tomlin. One from Campbell. And if you look at the, the assists as well, two from Villa, one from Jones, uh, one from Mantum, and one from Campbell as well. Uh, and then the match ratings, nine. For Jones, who only got one assist. 9.4 for Villa, who got two assists and a goal. 9.4 for Carino. 9.6 for Tomlin. 9.3 for Campbell. As, oh, it, words cannot describe how pleased I am with that performance. So, because words can't describe it. Oh, you can see I got an achievement as well for thumping. I'll find out what that is and I'll tell you guys about it in the next episode. Um, because that is the end of this episode, guys. You see, we uh, we absolutely tonked Tranmere. And now it's time to focus on our next game, which I believe is our first game in the League Cup. Um, so thank you very much, guys, for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button below because there will be plenty more matches like this. Um, if you have already uh, subscribed to my channel, thank you, guys, for your ever-continuing support. And until next time, I will see you soon.